Hello and welcome to the num uh, number 17 <laughs> Sunday Rumble Community uh, Chat. Fuck it up. Now, <laughs> with us here today, we have the always giggly Zuka Ezrai. <laughs> Everyone but me, shut up when I'm doing the introductions. Um, we also have Mattis Samo. Also, victorious mad hapo, hatters, uh, mad hippos. Uh, we have uh, Tropo here from Sacrilege. We have Zion, uh, I believe, also from Sacrilege. Was that Cake? Yeah, Overwatch. Cake. Um, We're from Overwatch. We have yeah. Feast on Thrones, um, Byron, Cavendish, of course, from the Gentlemen, the main team. And uh, Simone, can you introduce yourself? That's Eridan from Sacrilege. Right, okay. Hello, Eridan from Sacrilege. Great. So we've got a wide variety of people here today. Hey Let's start right at the beginning with you, Sacrilege. And your mic works. Sacrilegious fellows, Cake versus Sacrilege was the first match of the night. Now, um, as plumes of smoke come from Byron's screen, uh, <laughs> let us... Let us recall that first match from Cape. Now, Zion, uh, you guys used a Galleon Pyramidian loadout. A very yeah. interesting Galleon Pyramidian loadout. Uh, explain to us um, the idea behind that loadout. Um, basically, um, Overwatch were called in at about five minutes to start. And the Pyramidian being my preferred ship, that's what we went with. Hmm. Yes, so, um, well, um, Sacrilege had your number in that first game, didn't they? They certainly did. Oh. Ouch, is all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> so, Sacrilege, how did you get the better of Cake in Duel Dawn? Uh, lots of Gatlings and Mortis. <laughs> And yeah, Aridin and and yes. I, I pretty much I just said, hang on, I'll just let Aridin and, and Castius do this. If Aridin wants to chime in here anytime, that's fine. I was like, I'll just let them do this. They're crazy Paramedian pilots. Go for it, you know? Oh. Yeah, yeah, you weren't in were you I think there was a captain switch in the middle of that series, wasn't there? Uh yeah, Aridin took first uh wheel yeah, and Aridin I took, took second wheel. wheel in the second match. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, so, um, anything else you want to say about that, uh, Duel at Dawn, how you won that? People putting hands over their faces. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's winter, it's cold. It's fucking... We have colds, probably. Can, can you guys hear me? Yes! Yeah. Yes, we can. Yes, we, we can. can. We can. This is the only reason why Aaron really piloted. I mean, there's too many guys in this every single week, so. <laughs> yes. Right. Hi, guys. This is this is Eridan, like, right? Lot of the very pilot too. we're talking about. My voice doesn't come till it, later. Oh, depends on yeah. who you're talking to. Byron thinks I'm a very fine lady. Uh, <laughs> right, a very a very fine bearded lady. <laughs> He's, He's a beautiful so Argonian. Don't judge, don't judge Byron. He's the most beautiful Argonian maid. <laughs> right, the salty Argonian. Now, Eridin, you were in that first match, Sacrilege versus Cake. Am I correct? This is going to be a lot of lag. <laughs> yeah, Eridin's from Costa Rica. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. Yeah, I was there. And... Right. <laughs> okay, that's the 15 later. second lag. Yeah. Right. Try and explain to me uh, your thoughts and feelings on that match at Duel at Dawn. <laughs> Versus cake, all in one block, because we don't want to ask lots of questions because of all the lag. All right, all right. Um, if you guys mind waiting 15 seconds. Okay, so it was my first match that I've ever flown a ship on. You guys can stop dancing. It's kind of awkward. <laughs> um, so I was a bit nervous at first. <laughs> And I tended to rush on the galleon. Okay, yeah, rush. Right, okay, right. I was trying to That's use some more enough. strategy. I mean, I, I put you on the spot. Um, it's hard to know what to say. Uh, in interest of time concerns, we're going to have to have to move on. You did very well in your first yep. your first game. Yeah, uh, amazing. This, uh, 
We used to hate the support from the other ship, obviously, when we were rushing. So, yeah, I should mention that. Yes, and that segues us very well into Battle on the Dunes, which was the second bout of that series uh, yeah. against Cake. That was when Cake went with a really weird build. It was, was a Gatling Artemis Pyramidian. It was. Explain that to me. Explain and it. We, and we noticed that the enemy was going very long range, so I thought I should have a long range weapon as well. But you paired it with the short, one of the shortest range weapons. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, Why? the idea is um, <laughs> well, to uh, take out the guns long range with the Artemis and then go broadside. I haven't had much practice with it. But your broadside also had an Artemis. Uh, yeah. An Artemis right at the back. It was uh, supposed to hold a 45 degree angle and get the gap mortar on for broadside. Fair enough. I mean, I, 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 is, sorry, I was just wondering, it's like you had like an Artemis bifecta, a really awkward <laughs> diagonal Artemis bifecta and a really awkward gap mortar diagonal bifecta. But why didn't you just have like, you know, the short range on the front, long range on the side? It was a quick decision and not one of the best ones. Fair enough. Honestly, you, you did get one kill in that match, though, which, uh, which was which was good. Um, I think Sacrilege just had a much more solid build. Uh, yeah, much more straightforward. Yeah. We we had fun, and that's what matters. Um, I was very happy to fly with Xander, and I'm looking forward to flying with him again next weekend. Yes. Well, you know, you did the cape thing. You experimented uh, with something new. Uh, Sacrilege, tell us how you got the better of Cake in Battle on the Dunes. Um, yeah, I, I jumped in the pilot seat and had a go then. I think I took what my Artemis Junker, uh, which I've been flying since the very start of playing the game. Apparently that's the new meta. I didn't realize that. Um, really? Yeah. I, well, Artemis I Junker, really? I, I think if no. you try something long enough, it eventually works, yeah. So... And then uh, I think we took some weird oddball stuff. We seem to always bring one ship that doesn't really work and somehow we made it work uh, on the Paramidian. Or maybe it's just Cassius, I don't know. But uh, yeah, we made it work, so that's pretty cool. Like with the, the Hades, and, Hades and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we hope uh, Sacrilege appreciated the uh, flare right at the start of the match that showed where we were. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, we actually did that at the start of our match which is probably the next conversation, uh, with the Mad Hatters. Uh, it was pretty silly. Uh, threw a few flares out there. Just, you know, hey, we're over here, guys. Yeah. Yeah, I, I found out a little strange. I was like, wait, do they, do they have a flare? No, nope, they just flared themselves. All right. Oh. Then. <laughs> ah, Sailor V. Um, okay. Um... If, if there's no more to talk about, uh, congrat congratulations, Sacrilege, uh, defeating Cake. Uh, now we move on to Mad Hatters versus Sacrilege. Now this is where you guys really ran into a into a brick wall. Uh, Mad Hatters with their mobular junker, very heavy on the Artemis long range. Wait a minute, I have to interrupt you there. Um, Maddie, did you raid my closet? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at them there! <laughs> What's oh, going on? Did, did, Team uniforms. Add top <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> what? Did you wake plan too? Oh, wait, God. Wait, look at, look at Feast as well. Is that the <laughs> <that? laughs> oh, no. oh, my God. Feast, what the hell? This, this <laughs> chat just turned to hipster central. <laughs> oh, my God. Guys, you have matching uniforms. Oh, wait. Hang on, hang on. Oh, 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 oh shit. Let's go back to that. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Oh, 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 oh. That's central. <laughs> anyway. Oh, yeah. yeah, okay. Anyway, uh, now I look very I distinguished. Tell this cool. <laughs> um, so, yes, uh, Matasamo, I mean, just Matasamo and um, Zuka. You just, yeah. that mobular Artemis, just absolutely rock solid. Uh, yeah. And then back on the dunes, they just, Sacrilege couldn't get a leg up on you guys. <laughs> Well, they got. We they got managed to get. Up. Oh yeah, they got. Up, they got up on me like right away. We're like trying to swing around. We're like, okay, well, they spawn northwest somewhere. So we're like, Maddie, let's just go northeast. We'll strafe around as slow as possible. And then we got a whole bunch of fire down on their galleon. But I think, oh, you guys, you guys had a pyramid, didn't you? Yeah. 
The, oh, I know. I know the pyramid got the drop on us because we 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 kept focusing fire on the lumberjack. I'm like, Maddie, that lumber is <laughs> dropping me. Yeah, I pretty much knew that I needed to bring lumberjack in that, and my strategy was to drop their balloons so they didn't have any Artemis shots. And oh, yeah. uh, we had uh, one or two people uh, just constantly whacking the lumberjack oh, yeah. so that we could keep the shots up. And uh, well, I, I could tell. Yeah. Maybe we need more lumberjacks next time. I think uh, we'll hopefully <laughs> it, it revisit this. Because <laughs> uh, all I know, our first death, um, me and Maddie both fired the lumberjack. We're like, it's still shooting me. So my balloon drops, and we have to we have to drop into full repair because our hull's down, and balloons down, <laughs> engines are gone. I'm up, uh, I'm up, uh, you know, fixing the balloon. <laughs> and then the pyramid just comes out of nowhere and just. Yeah. I'm like now. Maddie. Oh, Sorry. Right, a very emotional explanation, Zuka. <laughs> um, Did you expect it. anything less? Yes. So, yeah, um, can you write okay. my speeches next time? <laughs> so, so yeah. Me. Um, try to get them down with the lumberjack. Just Artemis's were too much. Uh, Parrot okay. and Rumble. Oh my God, that yeah. was that was rough, for you sacrilege guys. That was. <laughs> yeah, if that you don't mind saying. That was kind was, of like it was, uh, it was tricky. I don't know if anyone's seen any casts from other matches that we play when we take the completely wrong ships, but that was pretty much a carbon copy of us doing that yesterday. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> um, oh my god! Yeah. Well, because like, our first, uh, you got the yeah. drop on us on our first engagement, though. Yeah, that's what we were supposed to be doing the whole time. But then after that, you knew exactly what we we're going to do, and we didn't succeed yeah. in getting any kills because our aim was to try and domino effect the kills, drop you on yeah. the buildings and stuff. But it just yeah. it didn't happen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it almost worked because I. Oops, go ahead, Brick. The, fir the first engage, the goldfish comes in, and then it kind of backs off, then it goes for, and then the pyramidians kind of going back and forth. Like it's not quite sure if it wants to go in which side. It is kind yeah. of yeah. I think during that, I got stuck on a, a crane that wasn't there, uh, just at the bottom <laughs> right-hand corner next to that triangular building. Yeah. And uh, it kept bumping me forward and back, and I don't, we didn't know what was going on because we had a look and there was nothing attached to us. So. Yeah. Oh, I don't man. know. Yeah, because all I know in that first engage, I peeked around the corner of that building, and all I saw was the pyramid, and so we just unloaded on it. And suddenly, my balloon's gone, so our whole crew's like, do they have dual carronades up front? We're like, no, no, what's going on? So we, we back up, and that's when we noticed the goldfish right on top of us. Yeah, we actually <laughs> did have a couple of carronades on the pyramid. We had one carronade on the oh. side. Okay. Front, yeah. <laughs> that explains because my balloon's gone. I was like, "What just happened?" Yeah. Had, had, oh, well, all we had, but because then all we had to do, since you guys didn't keep up the pressure, allowed us to back up, and Maddie was able to disable the pyramid while we went after the goldfish. Yeah. 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 Taking down our engines was pretty good on a ship that takes, uh, you know, quite a big turning arc. Oh yeah. yeah. Just out of curiosity, uh, did you guys think that taking, you know, the uh, a heavy gun, and a, especially on a goldfish against that many Artemis might not yeah, be the best that, idea? We thought it was the best idea because you can have two people rebuilding it and it's the, one of the quickest guns that you can rebuild. So we thought we'd have it constantly being rebuilt. So they're shooting at it and then we've got one person camp in the hole. So, yeah. okay, we so it was, it was it a up, conscientious shoot. decision is my point. Yeah, it was deliberate. It just didn't work. Because okay. if we got their balloon down, we would have had a huge advantage, right? Oh, yeah. Because they only had one yeah. or two guns that could shoot up. Was that correct? Oh, yeah. Like, uh, none of our artists yeah. could shoot any, any high. We had a Gat mortar on the other side that we could have nailed you with if you tried to follow us down. Yeah, but, which I wouldn't do. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, it didn't quite work, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, because then what we. Because for the rest of the match, we realized that both your ships were mostly close <coughs> range, and Maddie and I had Artemises, so we just kept our distance. We didn't have to close to yeah. engage. Yeah. I just yeah. kind of whittled them down, really. Yeah. Uh, I think there, maybe Sacrifice. Okay. Would have been good if they went for some sort of a flanking attack, maybe, but... Yeah, if, yeah. like, we easily yeah. could have been... Because I almost got baited by the Pyramid, and if, they'd, if the Pyramid had backed out, I would have been forced to engage, and then the Goldfish could have come around behind me and just drop me on top. Because Matty has the habit of getting underneath me, and he's kind of just like a plate for my junker. Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess with that, uh, <laughs> our plan was... We had a plan, but it was definitely the wrong the plan. Top. And when we realized it didn't work, it kind of... I guess... <laughs> We kind of knew it didn't work, so we tried to do a rush tactic, and that was stupid. And then we tried to team up, and then uh, they just kept taking out our engines. I was just like, oh, don't worry, I'll, I'll finish this by going in. This yeah. is painful. So we, we don't really... And also, Cassius had some nasty lag spikes. Oh, yeah, I saw some of those lag spikes. I noticed um, the pyramid kept getting hung up on a building, and me and Matt are just cringing. We're like, oh, God, no, this is... Oh. Yeah. 
But I don't know about complaining about lag because uh, me and Aaron get pretty high oh, no. and random oh, no, slam yeah. because we yeah, come got... from like shitty countries that have shit internet. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I have a. I have a city that has a monopoly on the internet service, and it's terrible. So, it's just not worth bitching about lag because it's a thing. It just happens. Yeah, it's, a, yeah, it's, it's part I, of the Kind of everybody's affected. Yeah, by you it, learn so. how to yeah. work yeah, around exactly. those. Yeah, exactly. Those lags. The yes. rubber band. When it goes oh, wrong, it's the lag's fault. <laughs> yes. it goes wrong, oh, I've done the lag. It's all scary. Yeah, rematch. Um, we had a little bit of lag there. <laughs> yeah. Rematch. Uh, anyway. Yeah. And then moving on. Um, yeah, that's. Perhaps, <laughs> Um, the Gentleman versus the Glow Water Thralls. Much, much anticipated rematch from the finals of last week. Um, did we, did we get, no, we don't have Metal Eld in here. All right. Okay. Right, yeah, so, uh, Byron, you're just going to have to, uh, Byron and Feast, you're just going to have to lead me through it, mate. Uh, tell us about facing the Glow Water Thralls on Duel at Dawn. You go first, Feast. You, you can start off, mate. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to uh, okay, well, well, okay, well, uh, we, we knew that they were going to probably try and engage us close on that map, and, and uh, we've, we've always struggled to snipe on that map, so we kind of went more into the close-range mindset for that game, which helped a lot, um, and we just established our dominant position like we always try to do, uh, got up real high, and just baited them through the clouds, which we love to do because that they're blind while we're not, and um, it, it went really well. I mean, we've never done so well against them like that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to say, Glow Wars can we not fan quite some... Glow Wars Thralls early on? They didn't quite <laughs> because we can we face them all the time. They're like our arch nemesis. <laughs> we love them, obviously. Blame ours. <laughs> A little bit quiet there, Feast, kind of in and out. Okay, <laughs> well, I'll be close to the microphone then. Uh, yeah, there we go. Again, up perfect. Um, okay, yeah. So, yeah, you just kind of, uh, you just kind of whittled them down, I think. Um, uh, they tried to sort of charge in with that high impact, um, but I think, you know, you just up, you were down. Um, you just whittled them down with that very disable heavy build. It was just business as usual. We don't really ever change our strategy. It's just more about yeah. <laughs> the map. Uh, we're always just about disable rotation guns and just keep rotating their guns down. Eventually their hole will drop, but we don't care about the hole. We just care about keeping their guns down. Hmm. Can't remember any really standout moments in that game. I and mean, it was You're right. It was pretty much business as usual. So I'm going to move on to uh, Northern Fjords. Now, oh my goodness, y you guys, you took this really defensible position in Red Spawn, uh, and Scrim and uh, Fiasco, I mean, they were really finding it a pain, in an a pain in the ass to get a good angle on you. I mean, the Lumberjack was arcing the Lumberjacks over your head repeatedly, but Scrim had this amazing flanking attack when he, all the way around the, the giant smokestack on the other side, and they came at so you from both sides. I, I didn't even tell, know you could get around to that side, honestly. Yeah, tell, us, tell us, I mean, you know, how you, you combated that kind of great flanking attack and managed to pull it back. Well, um, well we, we, saw them, we saw them going round there, and we both, we both realized that we could catch the Pyramidian off guard alone. Um, but obviously, um, the goldfish came at the, exactly the right time and, and started laying in some support cover. Um, and then I think I think I went down first, um, if I remember correctly. Uh, but and then, but I think the Artemis, the power of it at the moment, is is enough to see a, a comeback in a big way. Of course, <coughs> yes. the thralls. The thralls also uh, uh, the. The Crown Tyrant also died once while trying to ram one of you guys and actually blew itself up. Yes. That was the best moment because I'm watching the stream and I just yeah. see him desperate. Uh, and like in the whole chat, we're just like, okay, he, maybe he doesn't realize his hull's down because it happened in mid ram. Just yep. yep. <laughs> Str strategically, so I think that definitely turned the the tide there. Strategically, I was, you know, we took our high position and we had them completely pinned. And and we knew we knew that they were thinking to themselves, okay, this is not working. We've got to try something 
new. So we knew at that point, like eventually they're going to have to do a wide flank. It's the only option they have available. So we predicted that and we just wait for that to happen. And then we, as soon as we saw it happening, we were just very vigilant. And then we would just spring either way, depending um, on which target we could get. On, on the ramps, I, I think they expected to do more damage. When I see I'm getting rammed by a Pira and I can't stop it, there's two things I'll, I'll do. I'll either drop my ship so it hits the balloon, because I'd rather take, take it on the balloon than the hull. And that happened, I know, at least one time. Or I'll just run to the hull, because they don't, they, people still don't expect the captain to be on the hull with, um, with my main engineer while I've got two gunners shooting. So we're shooting him the whole time he's coming at us. By the time he actually hits us, his hull's down, and he's, he's going to do more damage with the ram than us. Yep. Especially I think it was mostly going into your balloon as well, so yeah. it wasn't even even getting uh, hull damage in there. Now, Scrim <laughs> was so <laughs> It's Zuka, you never know. Stop me. Is, it, gonna, is everything okay, Zuka? Um, um, obviously so, not. So yeah, there was a one point where, I mean, you know, the glow waters, they looked like they were going to pull it back, but Scrim rammed into you, and just the wrong time, his armor dropped down, and it ended up ram killing himself. Um, yep. I think that's where it kind of turned around, and then by that point, I think your victory was pretty much inevitable. And I'll take your silence as agreement. I, I never uh, thought I so. I actually thought... Like I actually thought that Byron, the Junker, had died. Uh, around because it. And I then we just started playing freaking ring around the Rosie. And I was like, like oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, that was yeah. funny when you ended up swapping positions. Well, we just kept and, chasing uh, them around the ice pillar for like a two or three circuits until we yeah. finally could pin them down. Yeah, I, it looked like um, they were making a comeback in the end there. <laughs> but shut up. <laughs> then, um, but then the you, you kind of the uh, the Grand tyrant uh, kind of got caught between the two of you, and that was that was it. Well, they they when we were doing that, they did take down Feast, which was a little frightening to me. But I just positioned myself so that I could use a tar to block the lumberjack, and I knew I was in his army yeah, range. Yeah. I knew he was completely nullified at that point, and I could basically one v one the Pure who was out of arc. And Feast got a great spawn, so he could immediately put pressure on that Pure, and that's how we got that final kill, which was. Just it was lucky, but it was fortunate. What? It's fucking hilarious. I don't know what's going on? Right. Just Zuka's laughing at Simone. And Simone's laughing at Zuka. I tried to ignore you. I tried so hard to ignore you. You're laughing at something that happened 15 seconds ago. That's he's type, he's type learning with her. I know I'm not. My head's right here. Yeah. Keep your libido in check, Zuka. <laughs> That's impossible. Haven't you read the Codex I, I, of Zuka? Yeah, I, I know you yeah, have everything a I say oh, 15 code. seconds late, so I have 15 check. seconds late last. We've been trying, Brick, for, for, for ages. It's insatiable. <laughs> it's <laughs> lust. Yeah, we, need, we, need, we need Captain Roy to read his love poem in here. He's got sexual black hole. <laughs> Please pull up Roy's love poem and read it. Anyway. I'm not reading it. No. Uh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, it's, okay. <laughs> it's not the place for that. Ah, uh, true. We can't, we, can't hide, we can't hijack the community chat. No, no you can't. Uh, <laughs> I will <wish> try. <laughs> so, I want to hear uh, it. Moving on. <laughs> I will kill you. Damn it, Simone. <laughs> yeah. Right. So good. Okay. Moving on. Well, it turns out you can hijack community chat because the finals was an all gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, Tell us your thoughts, uh, Byron and Feast, on facing your uh, second team in the Mad Hatters. Protege, so to say. Well, we, wrecked, we absolutely wrecked them yesterday, so we were feeling confident. But <laughs> wrecked they, is an understatement. They they've been practicing really hard, so uh, they're still they're a tough opponent. It. Like I said, they're the team we practice a lot against, and we know in those duels, it's just a matter of positioning and who gets the first shot off. When it's Artie versus Artie, it's, it's almost that simple. Yeah. And we struggle. We just struggled with that. Uh, they, they, they know us. They know us too well. Now, I have a I mean, we, we, that, 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 that in um, Canyon Ambush, um, the Mobula had one Merc 
Now, I think yeah. that one Merc might have given them a slight edge because it had that armor stripping potential. We absolutely agree. That's, we, can, we, that's we, came, we, we came to that conclusion. Um, <laughs> right, like, when we were watching their, um, their earlier game, we came to that conclusion as well. And our focus was definitely on that mobula for that for that exact reason. Um, but we play those guys. So we play these guys all the time um, for our training, and they're always really good games. So it's it's, good, it's really good to see that everyone else can see that these guys uh, are awesome, and there's no like primary gen team. Oh gosh, please. but that oh, I know all the all the love is spilling out. <laughs> so um, but just no, that work was a, a very very good choice. As a quick question, uh, because you guys do play against each other so much and you've had played together so much, ha did either of you consider doing something you've never done before or something that the other team wouldn't expect or were you just going to be playing as straight up as you possibly could? Kind of, yeah. Uh, so it, was, it was mostly in positioning. It was most, uh, yeah. on, Can on Canyon, we tried to sneak up on them because we knew they thought we would be in our, in our spawn camping. We tried to that sneak was up on them. That didn't work. My favorite moment. And then on yeah. Fjord, we tried, we tried to get into a new that. area that they wouldn't expect us in. Yeah, it was. So, so going around all the way back to, uh, from, the, from the Mad Hatter's perspective, going all the way around to, to, to a. To a Getting to the back of blue spawn, is that something that you guys had practiced before, or was that just like that's, kind of spur of the moment? That's actually the spur of the moment kind of thing because me and Maddie yeah. are usually end up as blue. So, like, yeah. just by the way the tournament worked out, we swapped spawns, which we've never done before. But I was like, normally Byron kind of expects us to come down from the southwest or just come down that, that pathway. So, like, Maddie, let's just jam it, let's go flying around the corner. I just threw my junker full steam ahead, <laughs> went flying around the corner, rubber banded, and then got a perfect angle on them. Yeah, I, that, I last, that last engage, it's like you pull back. It, it's like you knew they were right behind you. Well, here's what happened. is that, act, that exact encounter has happened before, multiple times, where I just fly in there and <laughs> I'll see Feast type something. And be like, I've got you! And boom, they're on we top of We were going to ream him so bad. Oh, and he, yeah. he just caught a glimpse of my junker. I caught a glimpse of like, the clouds. As, like, I had my junker just moving slowly ahead, and I had... I was in third person mode, so you can see more that way. And I just catch off to the side, something move, and I'm like, that's not a cloud. And I'm like, shit, that's Byron! And in that instant, I knew exactly what these two were doing. And I was like, I um, screamed, I met Maddie's four ears, I screamed over Captain, they're behind us! And he's like, are you sure? I'm like, shut up, just go! <laughs> I, was, I, was <laughs> I was giggling. I was giggling because was like I was following, following, following Byron and being like, oh, you know, we're going to get them, we're going to get them with their pants oh, yeah. down. And oh, suddenly yeah. I hit this, oh! You know, <laughs> and then the, the Artemis coming in, and I know it's. I know. Uh, it's I think you're talking late, about getting them with their pants down has made Zuka very excited. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, you're sure. opening that Especially door, Brick. Yeah, you're getting them yeah, with yeah, their pants down. Especially considering I never wear pants. Uh, <laughs> I wear pants gentlemanly for now. Anyway. But that engagement um, was before sick we, because. Before we get down yeah. that dirty, disgusting, vile road, <laughs> uh, let's move on. To uh, Northern Fjords, which was yeah. God, what a match that was! Oh it my God! Started out, started out. Um, Feast and Byron immediately. You guys move to the corner of the map, sort of under <laughs> near that archway. I knew it, then, Maddie. I like, called it. Said, you played hide and seek with um, Matty and Zuka. Oh my God! Uh, for uh, about ten minutes, <laughs> nothing happened. <laughs> Maddie and I, and, and I think the Mad Hatter is actually just like. Took two laps around the entire map. We did, yeah. Because we, did. we, we went around one area. Yeah. Well, so we flew, we flew right past the area. Like, nah, they wouldn't just camp down there. <laughs> but then I was thinking, I was like, <laughs> yes, they would. Yes, they would. Now, and and then a flare came up uh, the second time you were coming around, and so that had uh, to be actually, a chance, right? We were Imagine. trying to lure them with the flares. Okay, that's, that's uh, what... the flare came when we had completed our two laps, and actually reversed to go back again because I thought we're right. doing two laps, we haven't seen them, are they doing yeah. the same? If so let's go the yeah, other yeah, way, yeah. we yeah. should beat them. <laughs> yeah, for for, for that. almost a straight right. minute that we, we sat by that giant icicle and the whole time was a debate on my ship and they were like, should we fire an Artemis just, to, just so they see the contrail and engage us? We're just sitting there, just fire an Artemis, just fire an Artemis. And Maddie's like, no, 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 don't do it, don't do it, we'll just go around. And then we took another lap in the wrong direction. <laughs> Oh. Yep. <laughs> Psychological warfare. Oh god, yeah. it was glorious. But then I saw you type that and I was like, okay, he's exactly an A1. <laughs> that was amazing. 
Um, yeah. Well, so then, uh, you did engage eventually, and it was eventually. a very kind of back and forth sniper battle. <laughs> it was messy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It was That's very messy. They always are. That's how the oh, yeah. battles out, always are. You took out the Goda, but then I believe the the uh, Glory Hogger went yeah. in and then got their balloon taken out. And yeah, smashed she went in. yeah, that was real bad at the time. Well, on me. I tried to get in to get my get out, get mortar on him to be able to finish him quickly, but Pagoda got his lumberjacks on me, dropped my balloon, and I just sat down on the ground. To, to I, go back to uh, what I said earlier, we know each other really well. And in this case, I knew 2v1, they're, they're going to want to try and get the kill. And Maddie's the more aggressive of the two. So I'm going to lower myself because Maddie has great balloon dip. I'm going to lower myself so much that the Arties can't really get past Maddie. And I'm just going to go 1v1 on Maddie. And that's exactly how it worked out. And my, uh, once the Hades and the Banshee opens up on, on the Mobula by itself, <laughs> oh, it's going to wreck it. And, and that's exactly Ow. what happened. Oh god. Yeah, pretty much what yeah, happened. And then the Jesper Good also got a, like the perfect spawn to just start shooting yep, immediately. Yeah, most ri- yep, yeah. And ju- right, as soon, most as soon ridiculous as- spawn. Oh god. Ever. Like, <laughs> right right behind, these right games behind, behind the Dunlock. junker. Oh and yeah. That was I knew I knew then that it was yeah, But Kurt as- Suzuka, he survived a long time. Oh yeah, cuz yeah. as soon oh, as Manny dropped to- down Maddie's like, get out was out of there! Sixteen lumberjack shots. He was just gliding down. Yep. Well, because I, 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 when I was an engineer pilot too, so I'm just on the hull the whole time fixing it, <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm yelling at the crew, hold it together, hold it together until Maddie gets in here. <laughs> Maddie will you save might, us. You might have survived if you'd sort of steered it down and then maybe under the arch. That's that's what I was trying to go oh, for, but I kept losing my turning well, engine, so I'm like. We, we also were prepping for Maddie to come back in, and we 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 were putting pressure on Zuka. In order to bait Maddie back in, because we were yeah. probably saying to him, "I need your support now." So we were just wait- we were just waiting for that mobile to poke his head out, and then we just switched to him and just you know forget Zuka. Forget, but then I died anyway. Yeah, <laughs> but that, but that, like Maddie, Maddie knew about that too. He's like, "They're probably just gonna come in and wait for me." So I was like, "Hold on, just let me die." All engineer, all engineering stopped, and we're just like, "Okay, restart." <laughs> so yeah, I mean, you Mad Hatters, you were behind, but then you made a great comeback. It got down to four four. Oh my god, it was so oh my god. close. During, yeah. during that engage, when, when it was still 3-4, we actually had split fire on my junker because Maddie lost his arc. So my front gunner is shooting the heck out of just the one lumberjack. He's just focusing it down, and my left side gunners are just firing it at Byron. <laughs> it was just like, split fire, split fire! And we kept going back yeah. and forth. We had two Artemises on the galleon and then one on, and then one on the junker, and we kept vice versa. And we just kept the pressure on. There, there yeah. was just this moment where uh, Zuka, you were just being utterly crippled by Artemis fire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and um, uh, meanwhile, Matty was just just raining down fire on the galley, and it was just, it was yeah. so tense. Who was going to die first? It came uh, down, it came down to a, just a little bit longer. Yeah, it came down to a split second decision because I, w- I was trying to get down below the ship. There's that debris in the northeast corner. <laughs> And uh, Feast was sitting just behind it, and uh, I let my balloon go down so I could get down behind that, d- down behind that cover. So he, he lost his lumberjack arc on me, but then Byron spun right behind me like, Maddie, it's up to you. I'm just going to – because with me and Byron, our two ships can fire at each other, and neither one will die because we have the exact same loadouts. We'll just sit there repairing constantly. I was like, Maddie, <laughs> yeah. we're just going to tank it, take out the galleon. <laughs> yeah. Because with his artists, all he has to do is just take, take out the lumberjacks and get close with his yeah. gamer. At that moment, I was yelling at Feast, just tank as hard as you can possibly tank. Yeah. He's screaming at me, kill Zuka. And I'm like, I'm trying to kill Zuka. <laughs> I was screaming at me. And I know, it's funny because I was screaming at Maddie. I'm like, Maddie, save us! Win this for us! I was, I was screaming at Byron just to kill Zuka. <laughs> um, <laughs> also killing the game as well. And then oh, his hole yeah. went down, and there was that moment when all my artists, Artemises ran out of ammo. And I was just like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I remember that moment, too, because I'm sitting there on the hull with Velvet, and we're just like, boom, boom, oh, shit, oh, it's gone. But they were like, the, the fire stopped. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the timing. It all, it all came down to strategic timing. <laughs> well, it, yes, it yeah. came down to the most minute of, uh, of decisions. But in the end, the Mad Hatters were victorious. Yeah. Now, yeah. now, gentlemen, the, the main gentleman, that is. Um, uh, Thanks, Beast. Uh, you're, 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 
you're happy about uh, the Mad, Mad Hatters winning. You're, you're proud of them, right? Oh, I'm immensely proud Abs- of them. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Like we we, we that, would be we'd be bad people to say we weren't. That having been said, I'm sure you're ready to get back out there and beat their asses too. Oh, yeah, exactly. The time. It's fine. Yeah. Oh yeah. They beat oh, yeah. Us them yesterday. They beat us today. You know, tomorrow's another day. You know, oh, yeah, don't yeah, worry. It's another week. Who knows exactly. what happened? Can I just um, can I just say uh, for any people who complain that sniping matches are boring, I dare you to watch that map and say that was boring. Well, the setup is a little bit, a little bit boring. <laughs> Maddie, I, uh, I mean, boring. The, here's, I here's the thing. Here's the thing. As soon as the Mad Hatters actually started circling around, I'm like, okay, the something's going to happen. The first but, ten minutes, but for the first like, match. first like four or five <laughs> like, minutes, see. it was the Mad Hatters sitting <laughs> basically in their spawn, and you guys sitting in like in that down corner. I was like, oh, Jesus Christ! The, this the is first, the first terrible. engagement's always going to be the slowest and most likely the longest because yeah. the, the, that's going to whoever wins that's going to control. The spawns, the respawns. So that's huge <laughs> in sniping. And no, no, no. I and I totally agree. It's fjords into canyon ambush. <laughs> <laughs> you know, not being able to find each other. Only the gents. Quite impressive to do. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Things that are oh, going in right. this chat that you guys who are watching have no idea. What's oh, going Maddie. On. Anyway, right. Yeah. It's like some Before freaky Zuka pre orgy. Does whatever weird courting rituals he's people. doing. Hey, anymore. Maddie, I did you to talk. Um, it, it, it's time yeah. to move on to the wrap up portion of the oh. uh, future chat. Where just anyone, any any last sort of thoughts or shout outs or anything we've missed, uh, go for it. I want to say um, a big Hi, thank Fed you Club. to uh, um, the people who joined me on my ship. We were very last minute, and I appreciate them uh, <coughs> jumping onto Guns Vicarus with us. Uh, thanks right. to the pastors. Yeah. Anyone else? else joined in. Yeah. It was a yeah. uh, good match, and finally we won a match this week. Um, I'm sorry that that hey. means that Kate watched Lost <laughs> One, but uh, finally we won something. Uh, and uh, also, I, I feel like we can beat the gents next time. Uh, I don't yeah. see any problem there. We learned a lot today, so that was good. Yeah. Maybe this time we'll wake up on time. 